Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to talk about frugality. A lot of people think frugality is a certain thing. Other people think it's something else. So I looked it up. I googled it and I looked up what a frugal person is and it says a person who cares about spending money when they don't need to. In a nutshell, that's what it says. So with that in mind, let's talk about frugality in my kitchen. So before we get started though, I want to know, are you a person that leaves their butter out on the counter or do you put it in the fridge? Let me know down in the comments. That's the question of the century. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay guys, here is an overview of my kitchen. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the stove because I've done one of these little tours before and I had a comment that, oh yeah, you're doing a frugal living video, but you know, your stove is a $6,000 stove. Okay, let me tell you about that. We got this stove for about a quarter of what it would have cost brand new. We bought it from a, uh, from a used restaurant supply house. So that is a tip. If you ever want something like this, or a large refrigerator, a large walk-in refrigerator, any of that stuff, that's where you go to get that kind of stuff. And to be fair, it wasn't much more expensive than a regular stove. So there's that. The refrigerator, we've actually gotten a pretty good deal on all of our appliances. Our refrigerator does not have ice and water. And so it was a lot cheaper. We just didn't want all of the extras because that's less stuff to break, right? So, Moving on to, let me show you the dishwasher. The dishwasher does match and that and the refrigerator, we got a really good deal on because they were both banged up a little bit. Although you don't ever notice it, so there's that. Now, these cabinets, the countertops, a lot of the walls, everything, practically everything in here was ripped out when we bought this house. And my husband and I are the ones that put it in, so. That was a huge savings right there. It took us like eight months, but we didn't want to get a loan. We didn't want to do any of that. So we did it as we could with just our own time, sweat and tears. So, all right. And this clock is interesting uh, because the furniture store was going out of sale or out of sale. They were going out of business. And this clock, the guy said, was broken so they were selling it for 50 bucks now you can't tell how big this clock is but it is a huge clock and it takes up a large portion of that wall and i love clocks so um it was 50 bucks and when i looked it up it's somewhere between 300 and a 500 dollar clock so my husband noticed all it needed was a battery so he told the guy because he was trying to be honest and the guy said oh just take it just don't worry about it so that was a good deal um, and we also put in the windows, did the trim, all of that stuff. So I wanted to show you over here, in here, you may notice if you've ever been to the dollar store that some of this stuff looks real familiar. Like these bowls, the plates, all of them. Uh, this, this stuff, the plates and bowls, I got about 12 years ago. These I got about 10 years ago because we had them at our wedding. Pretty little, um, you know, bowls with candles floating in them and whatnot. And all the jars are, you know, just they're regular canning jars. Some of them have handles and stuff, but we use them for everything. One, we drink out of them. But for two, I use them to save stuff all the time. I have kind of a problem with class, just so you know. All right. Now, here we have... You might notice that this is from Grove. Um, it's a subscription service for like cleaning products and stuff, if you didn't know. And I quit doing that about three years ago, but honestly, they're like soap dispensers and their spray bottles and all of that were, are really well made. Anyway, so I'm still using them um, because, you know, I have them. And so why not? And up here you can see is a mishmash of all kinds of cups, glassware. Most of all of these coffee cups have been for as gifts 
almost all of them. So, and we did buy um, one set of glassware. It was, I think, a set of eight. We bought those just last year, but our entire marriage, we have not had, and mind you, we've been married for 10 years. We have not bought dishes, silverware, glassware, none of it. We just are still using the stuff I had from the dollar store from way back when I was single. So this is the pantry. It has everything in here that I would need a lot, you know, for the most part, a lot of these I need to fill back up, but there's a lot of space. I reuse the same jars for practically everything. And so I don't have to, you know, with the glass, you don't have to worry about contaminating anything. It's not like plastic. It doesn't, you know, gather any smells. That window there is one that we need to change, but we have not yet because it's not in the budget. And so, as you can see, there's all kinds of stuff in this pantry. This is where I have my microwave, which also we bought at the same time. Um, as we did the, the other appliances and got a really good on, deal on that because we bought all three of them actually all yeah all three of them together so that's a tip also you may get a good deal the more you buy so if it's a good deal already and you want to purchase it that's the way to go all right so that is the pantry so as you can see um, I am not extremely frugal, but if I don't have to spend money on things, I'm not going to. Like, for example, the dishes, I don't care. They're just to eat off of. It's not like I'm trying to present these beautiful dishes to anybody. Um, I'm sure they're just glad they have a plate to eat off of, right? So that's what I'm saying about frugality. Um, this kitchen needed to be demolished when we moved into this house so that is what we did but we did it on as tight of a budget as we could possibly do um, we did it ourselves we saved a ton of money um, we did have part of a, a countertop um, cut properly for this area that we needed yeah, other than that my husband and i did it all ourselves mainly him um, i was there for emotional support right anyway i did help but just, he did the bulk of it. And so, the point is, is that frugal living looks different to absolutely everybody. And people have this idea of maybe poor people or destitute or whatever the case may be. No. Frugal just means that you don't spend money on things because they don't matter to you. So that you can spend money on things that do matter to you. And this kitchen really mattered to us because we needed a place clearly to cook and eat and do all of that. So we did it as quickly as we could for as cost effective as we could. So, and a lot of things I don't care about. I don't care about things matching. Um, yeah, it just, it doesn't really bother me. I would rather spend that extra money on things that are going to say further the family or, or help us in, you know, preparing for things that may happen or whatever the case may be. So I hope this gives you a little, a little bit different perspective on frugality and what um, frugal looks like in reality rather than just what the media has made it seem like. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and a subscribe and I will talk to you later.